So today we're going to turn our attention on getting the driveways and the pathways done on the house here. Now before we start that off, I brought in Chris from Metro Mix to help us out again with picking the right colour choices. And Chris, great having you in here today because for the people at home that are looking to uh, embark on putting in a driveway and some paths, it's great to get an insight into what you need to consider when you're choosing colours and finishes for a big job like this one. Well, it's obviously good to get in nice and early with concrete. Once it's done, it's done. So uh, we just gotta make sure that, yeah, we're looking at the, the tones and the colours in the house that are gonna contrast with that driveway as well, getting that right colour down, whether it's gonna be a black mix, a charcoal mix, looking at other landscape works in the area as well. I guess looking at the colour scheme of the house itself, it's quite monotone. So we wanna steer away from using anything with gonna be heavy on brown and stuff like that. Yes. So main choices are gonna be something either in a grey base with a high blackstone content, yes. or then looking at the charcoal mixes with a bit of, you know, a bit of white or some granite coming through it as well. Other options too are whether we're gonna use an exposed aggregate mix and water wash it the following day. Yes. Uh, otherwise, maybe look at doing a pavilion finish. So Chris, I love the sounds of the pavilion finish, but can you run us through the difference with pavilion as to other finishes? So most commonly people that would do an exposed egg, it's water washed the next day. With the pavilion, basically what happens is the concrete's laid, it's a high strength concrete. We then get our concrete grinders and polishers to come through, they take the top off, it's an acid etched and sealed. It just gives it a nice flat under the foot feel. So Chris, we've been lucky enough to have you come down here today to have a first hand look at what we're doing. But for the folks that are wanting to get the colours done, not sure where to start, can they come into a showroom like yours? And if so, what do they bring with them? Obviously, when coming down to the showroom, it's always good to either bring in some, some tile, a bit of render, a bit of paint colour. Um, if they haven't got access to that, just take some good shots at the front of their house. Under natural lights, bring it down, come and see one of the guys at Metro, and we can work through picking the right colour just to suit the project perfectly as well. When choosing finishes, seeing and touching the real thing is better than any image on a website. So we're heading down to the Metro Mix showroom to check out some samples. So Chris, fantastic coming down to the showroom. And I guess for the people at home as well, if you want to get a better idea of the colours and all the choices out there, and more importantly, the understanding of how concrete works, coming to a showroom like this is fantastic. You had some ideas for us about colours and textures. Yep. Where are you sort of thinking that we might be at with it with our house? Well, basically, there's, there's a lot to choose from, as you can see here. Plenty of samples on display, um, all based out on to in, in different colour palettes. So these are probably some of the mixes that we'd look at. Uh, obviously, monotone, keeping those black, grey, and white tones. Yeah. Like I explained, not using a lot of heavy browns. It's just not going to suit the property at all. Yeah. So sticking to this side of the board, you know, your nice black, white tones, uh, granites coming through as well, larger, smaller pebbles. So this is the pavilion finished range here. So obviously, essentially, like I've explained, polished concrete, but designed for exterior finishes. Mm. So you've got that bit of grip factor there as well. Oh, absolutely. Look, there's, it's a lot smoother uh, in comparison to the exposed. They're the grey base options. Yeah. Just that plain everyday grey cement. Yeah. And then you've got darker options like these ones. So obviously, just darking up that base colour that we see there compared to the to the lighter grey. I'm probably gravitating maybe more to that. More to the black. A bit more oomph. Out of 150 options in the showroom, I think we've nailed down to two on the wall here. So your two options, simplistic house. We can go black on white, just 50%, 50-50. Yep. Otherwise, there's options of adding some, some grey granite into it as well with that grey render. But the final decision lands on your shoulders. Chris, you know what, mate? I think uh, simplistic is probably the key word here. And look, you know, I love them both, but I think for me, that's our winner. Yeah, black on white. Yeah, popular Can't choice. No, you cannot. We're laying the concrete down today. So basically putting the concrete into the whole job, getting it all down and screeded, and then basically we'll then uh, leave it for a couple of weeks and uh, then we'll get the grinders to come out. They're gonna do the, uh, the grind and the finish on top and you'll have a driveway in a couple of weeks' time. The way the concrete's made is obviously the rock components in there, along with some sand, cement, obviously water. There's chemicals that go into the concrete as well to help it with uh, shrinkage characteristics and just to give it a good lifespan. And then once it's grinded back, you then see the beauty of the stones come through. Obviously, with any trade, a, a good trade is what you need. So you've got to make sure that everything's done properly to get a good end result as well. So the whole, the whole process of finding someone that knows what they're doing, especially with decorative concrete these days as well, it's not just plain old concrete. A lot of care is going to be taken because the end result comes down to everything being done along the way as a, as a proper process. 
certainly made some really great progress here with our driveway that's now been laid down and it's already transformed the front of this home. It's given us great off-street parking and it's really helped frame the front yard. So what we've done with the shapes of the driveway to help soften it a little bit and working with some of the existing features of the garden is by bringing in some of these curves here. What that does is it takes the sharp edges off and allows us to bring some vegetation in there to give us a real nice green feel to the front yard. And check out what we've done with the stepping stones here for the lawn. So this area here is gonna be our front lawn. And what we've done is created our stepping stones coming through here using the same product of concrete. Now by putting stepping stones in a lawn, what we've been able to do is create a really functional path without it looking too heavy. Because this way we can bring a bit of lawn in between the pads and it'll just look nice and green. Now the pads lead around to the side of the house where all the bins will be kept. So it'll be nice and easy to sort of bring the bins across here and out the front. Now, whilst this concrete looks pretty good as is, it's actually not finished. We're going to be bringing in some grinders, which will grind back the surface of this concrete, and it's going to reveal all the beautiful aggregate in there. A bit like some hidden gems. Can't wait to see it finished. Our new driveway has had a couple of weeks to dry, so now it's time to grind it back and reveal the hidden beauty. We provide anything to do with floors, whether it be polished concrete, grind and seals. We also do preparation grinds, flooring preparation. New builds, such as designer concretes, the customer can now pick concrete colours, your aggregate colours, to how much exposure you want, from nil exposure right through to full 100% exposure. You can have your polished concrete from a matte finish right through to a platinum full gloss finish. Then you've got your external finishes, which, like what we're going to be doing here, is the pavilion finish, where we grind the surface expose the desired level of stone. You won't have any sharp stones. Kids can play on it. They're not gonna tear their skin open with, with exposed aggregate. The maintenance side of it is extremely easy to keep clean. Five to seven years, missed over a new application of green seal and job's done. Our job site's a happy one at the moment because our concrete driveway's just been done. And you know, it's come up an absolute treat. And when you think about it, a driveway takes up such a big chunk of the front space of your home, and it also contributes to that all important street appeal that you want to make sure that it looks great and you want to make sure that it functions well. And what I really like about our driveway here is the fact that it's got this beautiful finish. Now, this is a pavilion finish, and it's sort of been ground back here, which reveals all the beautiful pebbles and natural stone inside the actual concrete itself. It is soft to touch, which means it'll be soft underfoot, but it's not slippery. So for our driveway here, I'm loving it.